Mummy. Who's this? Mummy. Where's it gone? Can't we get it? Oh. Morning guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, I thought I would just start the vlog this morning and do um, a little bit of a like spend the day with me. Um, so, I've um, been up this morning, I went back to Pilates today for the first time in weeks and I just haven't felt in a great, like I've just really been struggling the last few weeks with just feeling like life is just getting on top of me. I'm sure we all feel like that like at some point, which is totally fine, but I just really needed to take some time to just catch up on life, um, which I feel like you never really catch up on. And all parents will feel that even if you don't have kids, life is still busy. Um, but anyway, it was really nice to just go back this morning and get back into it. And then, yeah, Pilates this morning, just had a shower and got Camilla up. I'm just quickly getting ready for the day, like super quick. I don't need to do anything crazy. I'm about to take Camilla to a play group, which I'm so excited about. I, we haven't been to this one before, but a friend of ours, um, she takes her daughter. So we're going to try it out and some of my other friends. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to just take, she's just right at that stage now where she just loves like doing activities and stuff. And they do like sensory play and painting and crafts all that kind of like good fun toddler activities. So I'm excited to take her there this morning. Then I'm gonna drop her at my mother-in-law's for the afternoon. She has her sometimes. So I'm gonna drop her there for a few hours and I'm gonna try and use today as a bit of like a reset, um, set myself up for the week. I wanna do like a bit of a meal prep, meal plan and go and do my groceries, catch up with some washing, tidy up the house, that kind of stuff. I've been trying to do that all at once. And like the last few weeks, as I mentioned, I've been like all over the place and I think that's a little bit why I've just been struggling because I feel like I'm trying to do a million things rather than just like stop and, you know, focus on kind of one thing at a time. So I'm hoping if I can get in a better routine with my like setting up my weeks rather than just every day I've been like, okay, what are we having today? What's for lunch? What's for dinner? Oh, do I need to go to the shops? Um, whereas a few months ago when I was doing so well and feeling really on top of everything, I was doing it like once a week. I knew what we were doing. So anyway, I want to get back to that. Um, but my toothbrush. Um, I feel like it just takes time. Like sometimes you just have so much going on in life and you can't like give yourself, you know, give yourself a hundred percent to things. So today I'm going to get back on track and I've got some work, a little bit of work I need to do as well, but I'm trying to get better with that too. Work is something that with my kind of job, it can take over your whole life and you can be doing it every day without even knowing it. Um, so I really want to focus on certain days uh, for work. And when I'm working, I can plan content, plan things for other days. So I kind of know what's coming up. That also helps my anxiety brain. Um, but yeah, just be more planned. Like with this job, you can definitely, things come up obviously, and it's a very flexible, you have to be like, yeah, creating things all the time, which is fine. Um, but I just need certain days to like get my life together and, um, yeah, like groceries, all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to keep getting ready and, um, get on with the day. California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same thing with what to wear, It's kind of hard to know what it's like outside I think I might just put on a knit And I've got some jeans Pop that one. This is a really comfy, cozy one from Lily Silk. I featured this in my um, new in video the other day. 
Then these are my all time favourite jeans, super comfy. Um, they're from Marks and Spencer. Needs to do my hair. Pop on my jewellery. Rings. I find it hard to dress on these kind of days where I'm like, um, I'm kind of in mum mode, but I also don't just like, I wear active wear a lot, obviously. <laughs> It's like mum uniform, but some days I feel like I just want to have like a bit more than, you know, just active wear. I'm sure you know the feeling, but um, I feel like at the moment it's hard with the weather. I'm like, is it cold outside? Do I need a coat? Do I need a jacket? Probably. I just put my hair in a pony. It's be very casual today, but that's okay. Casual and comfy. Then I'm just gonna get Camilla dressed. And I'm running a little bit late now, but anyway. I feel like that's just your life when you've got a little toddler. Okay, ponytail. I might tuck this in a little bit. Shoes, I might just wear some ballet flats. I feel like I need a coat. I'll get Camilla dressed and then decide if I need a coat. I'm just gonna pop on some that, my favourite. Okay, that's a good start. Yeah. Get dressed. Yeah, we're gonna go in the car. Oh, you've got your little handbag. Yeah? Socks? Put your socks on. Yeah? Yes, yeah, socks. One, two. Bye bye Wiggies, we're gonna go in the car. Bye Wiggies. Bye Wiggies. We do your hair. No. Little ponytail. Do you want a ponytail? Just to keep the hair out of your face. Bye Wiggies. Bye bye Wiggies. Good girl. Let's go. Bye Wiggies. Okay, just got home from the playgroup. Honestly, Camilla had the best time ever. It was just so much fun. Um, these are just like my favorite things to do now. Like she's actually excited about like doing activities, um, stuff like that. So it was so much fun. She did um, some like Play-Doh. There's just heaps of different activities and like dinosaurs and cars and stuff to play with. Um, she did this really nice picture, which this is the start of all of the different, <laughs> um, stuff to put on the fridge and on the wall um but anyway they had activities like arts and crafts where you could like this was like putting stickers on you know and drawing which we, she loves that sort of stuff and then yeah they had little fruit time like music singing stuff like that anyway it was so fun a really wholesome morning but now i've got just like i just really want to get a heap of stuff done while she's not here so i'm about to quickly do a little bit of baking or prep then i might go um, do a bit of a meal plan, go to the supermarket. Um, I'm also waiting, I need to go to the post office. I'm waiting for one more parcel to arrive today as well. So I was hoping, waiting to see if that arrives. If not, I'll go to the post office as well while I'm out. And then I'm hoping later on, I'm gonna go get my hair cut. My mum cuts my hair. So when she's gonna call me when she's on her way home from work, go around and get my hair cut. And then, yeah, I'm just thinking just a little freshen up. I know I spoke in my vlog last week about how I just really want to change it up, but I'm not going to do that before the wedding. So just a little bit of a chop, but anyway, now I'm going to prep some bread. So I'm going to make another loaf of bread, but it needs to sit and rise for quite a few hours. So I thought if I just at least do the first step now and then go off, do my jobs, even later on or after dinner, I can make the rest of the bread. I've just realised I don't know if I've got enough plain flour to do it yet, otherwise I'll have to go to the supermarket. But all you need is plain flour, yeast, some salt and water. Um, I'm just going to use this salt, but you can also use this packet of like salt, but I might buy some more when we're at the supermarket as well. I'm thinking, now that I'm looking, that's definitely not going to be enough. Okay, so I definitely don't have enough plain flour, which is annoying that I can't just do the first step. Anyway, I will stock up on that when I go to the supermarket. But for now, I'm just going to sit down and um, do a bit of planning. So I thought I would just share 
Um, I've got my planner, my diary, and yeah, just share kind of what I do. I'm just kind of keep it really basic this week. So um, yeah, just gonna plan out my meals and what else we need from the supermarket. So I've got my, and then I also need to tackle this. So Camilla's toys, that's her new favorite little car toy. Um, all her toys from this morning that I haven't had a chance to clean up. Okay, so I've got my planner and I've just gone to grab some of these out of the cupboard, some new ones, um, because I've used all the other ones up. Just store them in here somewhere. So um, I can probably take these out. And then I've got these fresh ones ready to go. So it's just got like every day and then it's got a shopping list down the side, which I really like. So I can kind of visualize the actual meals. Then as I'm going, I can write what um, we're actually going to have. Just so I'll do a quick little unboxing update. Just a few pieces. Um, these just arrived in the mailbox. This arrived yesterday and I've just opened it, so I thought I'll quickly share. Um, first up, this one is from Charles and Keith. You guys know that I work with them quite a lot, so um, yeah, and I did a video a few videos ago about all my bags. I need to do like an up, keep updating it because I've added a few more bags and I just have to say like the quality, I know I talk about this all the time, but the quality is honestly so, so good. And for the price, like I just think everything's really expensive at the moment. And I feel like you just want to know that you're getting good quality stuff. If you're going to spend your money and invest in something and I can 110% vouch, like I'm so surprised by their quality. I've, um, I don't have much, but I've got a few pieces like a, from high-end brands, designer stuff, and really like the quality is just really, really good. Anyway, can't recommend it enough, but, um, so this is in part of a partnership, just have to preface that um, by saying that, and I will share um, in the links below, you can click on the links if you wanna shop any of these, but, um, I also have a discount code for Charles and Keith. It's quite a long, annoying discount code. I don't know why they can't make them shorter, but if you want to shop anything from there, go down, um, my tip is go down and copy it, like actually highlight, copy the link and then paste it into the, um, like gift, uh, discount code box. If you're shopping rather than trying to like type it out, because sometimes you might get it wrong. Anyway, first up, how cute is this cute? little woven bag really cute it's kind of giving me like Loewe vibes um they had one that i loved a few years ago and they don't make the exact one that i liked anymore though it was kind of woven with the tan you guys know i love tan um it comes with this cute little uh like wallet thing inside it clips on and off though so you can take that out if you want but i just thought that's perfect for like throwing this you can carry it like this but it also comes with a long crossbody strap which is perfect when i open this up camilla actually loved this because it's like a little baby size bag so she was carrying that around love that though i'm picturing like with nice sandals uh white dress like white linen i think that'll look so nice it also goes really nicely with what's coming next um if you follow me on instagram you probably saw me post about these but they're so nice these sandals look how nice these are really nice tan with gold buckle also they feel so comfortable like really plush um tiny little like heels sort of not really but they come in black they might come in other colors as well but they come in black but i just love tan like i'm such a sucker for tan this time of year i think you can just wear these so many ways with like um jeans or white dresses i just think tan looks so nice with white perfect for spring like summer that's my kind of vibe it would also look nice with like linen shorts um, a t-shirt or like a blazer, but yeah, these are so nice. So I'll leave all of that down below for you. Okay, next up is from H&M. Um, this just arrived this morning, so I haven't even unboxed this yet. Um, but yeah, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so quite a few little goodies in today's H&M haul little bits and pieces first up this is a oh, what's this oh yes so cute i'm excited to see this i've got lots of different wedding kind of events coming up and i thought this would be cute at some point in time it's a bow clip it's kind of like a really nice ivory satiny kind of vibe and i just thought that would look so nice like with a ponytail so 
hard to tell from here, but I just thought that would be nice. Um, yeah, or with my hair down and just like the front bits pulled back. That would be really cute. There's heaps of these around at the moment, but yeah, I just thought that one was really, it also says it's pure silk. It feels really nice. So yeah, love that. Then next up, another cute accessory, um, which I thought was really nice. I got these little earrings. I just thought they were really nice. They're kind of like a drop. They've got like a rectangle sort of like diamonds look. They're obviously not diamonds, but like that kind of vibe. And a little pearl dropper, which yeah, really cute. Again, I've got lots of different wedding kind of stuff. Hens and like bachelorette, bachelorette, yeah. Parties and you know, um, lunch, dinner, that kind of stuff. And then wedding at, at the actual wedding, like welcome dinners and just the wedding week. So I thought I'll wear them at some point. And then, this really nice dress. Hopefully this looks nice. I can't wait to try all these on. If I get time later, I'll try them on for you, but I just thought I'll show you now. But I'm obsessed with this fabric. Really nice kind of like tweed vibe. This really classy dress. You guys will love this if you're into like my kind of like classic kind of styles. I love this style of dress. Really high neckline, square shoulders, um, really nice and fitted. I've gone for a size eight, so... Hopefully the sizing's okay. I'll let you know once I try it on. It does look quite fitted, like tailored, but I love that. I wanna see if it actually comes in black because that would be perfect. But yeah, really nice. I just think with like ballet flats or something casual or heels, you could throw on like a blazer or I think I'm gonna wear this with one of my like crop jackets. I think that would be just really nice and classy. Um, but yeah, I'll try that on a bit later on. Then, what have I gone for? Oh. Then the next two bits are all actually work wear, uh, sorry, workout clothes. So the first pair is these, my favorite kind of color, is these leggings. Um, H&M Move collection is actually really good. I don't know if you've tried them or not, but it feels really nice, the fabric. I'll try them on later and um, let you know how the sizing and stuff goes, but I've gone for size small. Love that. Um, just new Pilates kind of stuff, which I thought was nice. Perfect for this time of year. Like, Mostly I just wear my Lululemon stuff and it's all black. So I thought, let's mix it up a bit. Also, this matching crop top, like sports bra, which is so nice. It's got this little, nice little detail there. Just something different, which I thought was nice. It's also quite um, high neck, which I like. Like it's quite fitted and good coverage. Then I also went for the matching uh, bike shorts, which again same color but they'll be perfect so I can either wear the top with the shorts or the leggings they're also just nice pieces just to wear like around the house you can throw on like a shirt over the top like open white linen shirt or like a you know like a sweater that'd be really nice and then the final piece from H&M is another crop top the same sports bra but I got it in black um sorry this, these ones I went for a, they're all a size small so I've gone for my normal size, so we'll see how the sizing actually works when I try it on. But there you go. You get a better look at that one there. So nice. So I just thought, I mean, you could mix and match that. But I also just got this because I thought you could try that with just plain black leggings, like the ones that I already own. Yeah, really cute. Love those. Then I've got one final piece. This is from Style Runner, which I love their stuff. And I went to the store for the first time in their Armadale store in Melbourne. Uh, when did I go there? A few months ago when I was in Melbourne. I might be able to open this one up. I might need the scissors. Um, and the store is like so beautiful. You go in there and you just want everything. They've got this amazing like shoe display in the middle with all their sneakers. They've just got so many nice sneakers. Like, oh, it's just like a dream. Okay, just have to go get the scissors. Um, so this is what I picked up from Style Runner. Um, and this one's actually in partnership with them as well. So I'm really excited about this. One of my favorite brands. So I'm really chuffed, yeah, to be working with them. I got, um, and this is what I picked off their site. So just before I show you, if you haven't been on there, they've just got really good, like, they kind of think they started out as like athleisure kind of, I think that's their vibe, but more fashion focused. And they also just have really cool, like casual pieces from like Australian brands that you can kind of mix back with just like leggings and sneakers, but also dress them up. So, so excited. I picked up this little tank. This is from Victorian Woods. I've actually been loving and wanting this for quite a while. So, so excited to style this up. It's just like a really nice um, casual, yeah, casual tank. Love it. Um, 
but yeah i got this in a size one so haven't tried this on yet but um that's just my normal size from them so that should be fine but so excited to style that up it should be cute just to kind of wear with like jeans blazer over the top um shorts in summer like a shirt i just think it's a really cool vibe and as i said you could easily style this up for a cool like mum kind of day look um with tights leggings and sneakers and throw on like a blazer or just like a sweater as like a cool kind of mum look but a bit more dressed up so yeah love that um but yeah there we go that's all my unboxing for today and i mentioned before about the post office well i looked in the letterbox and there's actually no um card in there so i don't know what to do about that like i got a text saying we tried to deliver your parcel and you weren't home so we've left a card and there's no card so anyway i don't know what to do about that um but yeah Okay, just pulled up. Oh gosh, it's really dark in here. Pulled up in my mum, dad's house. Hello. Just pulled up in my mum, dad's house. I'm gonna quickly go in, get my hair cut now, and then off to the grocery. Like off to do groceries after this. It is so hot, so sunny. Like I was not prepared for it to be this nice. Like I'm wearing a knit. Anyway, off to get my hair cut, and I'm really looking forward to having it like. Um, mum's got like toning shampoo like I want to use that because I haven't done that for a while and I feel like at the top here it's starting to get a bit like brassy you know when the sun comes out and your hair starts to get um, your colour starts to go a bit brassy so anyway off to get it cut can't wait hello puppy <laughs> hello uh, Coach. <laughs> Maggie hello Meg Hello, and Koki, Koki, come on. Are you excited? Hello. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In that bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold groceries yeah, yeah also want to quickly go into yeah. some other shops and look for Camilla off, yeah. quickly before we have to pick her up Camilla, trying to get yeah. as much done as we can before we have to get her groceries yeah. chemist Give just want to look for some like basics I love best and less for like just basics pajama stuff t-shirts um, yeah wiggies. things like that she loves the wiggies doesn't she the wiggles but yeah just like key basics that you know, they can wear to the playground, they can get dirty, they wash. Oh God, it's really dark in here. Um, yeah, things that, key basics and stuff that just wash really well. Really good, cheap prices. So yeah, I need to get, and she's just grown heaps into the next size. So I really need to get some like size up things. So we'll go have a look and we're gonna have a look in Aldi. I feel like I always love a good cheeky look in Aldi. Just always end up buying stuff you do not need. Never rings in California. The sun is always shining bright. But if the sky would open up, you're staying home, you don't get out. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed you. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where your heart is fine. Yes. No, no, for Baba. Ta, mummy. So my least favorite part about doing the groceries, coming home and having to clean out the fridge. But I've found this really helps my anxiety. And if I'm honest, I've been really struggling this week, the last few weeks. As I mentioned, this really helps me is just meal planning and setting up my week or my days as best I can. So I'm gonna take everything out of the fridge. Um, there's not that much in there to be honest. It's just like leftover stuff. You know, there's just like one carrot left, like random stuff. So take it out, 
spray and wipe it all, clean it down, and then um, anything that is expired, that's also a really bad <laughs> trait of mine where I just kind of leave stuff. So take everything out um, that needs to go in the rubbish bin, random leftover stuff of Camilla's, then I'm going to try my best to like wash all of the fruit, cut it all up, um, and pop it in like containers and stuff. Ta! Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, sorry. So cut it all up, um, pop it into containers. I feel like that really helps me stay organized during the week when I'm like when I look to the meal plan, like I know what I'm having for dinner, but if it's already prepped in the containers, it makes it really easy. So like cut up the strawberries that are washed. Um, cut up the snow peas, like wash them and have them ready to go. That just helps my anxiety. Like I feel like when you get to the end of the day and you're, you've had a hard day or you're tired and exhausted, it just really helps just to have things ready to go. And um, I've also found that that helps me with healthy eating and staying like on track. Where So if you're struggling with anxiety as well, I just thought I would share that because that's something that's really helped me. And I've noticed these last few weeks, I just, I feel so anxious lately that... If you've struggled with anxiety, you'll totally get this, but it's just that feeling where I feel like I can't breathe. Like it's just really getting to me. So I was just kind of like, okay, enough's enough. I really need to try and help myself. <laughs> so I'm getting organized. That's number one. Then I'm gonna try and make my bread and start prepping dinner. But first step is what clean is out fine, the fridge. But baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying away. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm at night. No, I bet you. So, cold. this is basically everything that you need. I'm about to just make the first step of the bread plain flour. I stocked up at the supermarket, some salt, and then some dry yeast. I just use this one, it comes in these sachets. Um, works really well and then i'm just going to pop in some warm water as well to mix it up but so i'm just going to do the first steps now because um the bread dough or the bread mixture needs to sit in the bowl for a while and rise so i may even leave it overnight or just for a few hours but super easy like really really easy i'll show you the first steps okay first up flour you need just plain flour this is just like supermarket plain flour three cups Then one teaspoon of salt. So as I mentioned, you can use whichever salt you want. I'm just going to use this one. Actually, sorry. I'm going to use these flakes. So one teaspoon. Then half a teaspoon of the dried yeast. So just pour that in. Okay, so then you just mix that all up. Okay, so then just two cups of warm water. You don't want it to be too hot, but just warm. Pour it in and I'm gonna leave a tiny little bit just in case we need it. So it's looking a tiny little bit dry, so I'm just gonna pour a tiny bit more water in. Okay, so that's looking better. It's like doughy, not too sticky, not too dry either. We just put a tiny bit more. Okay, so that's all good. Now I'm just gonna cover the bowl with cling wrap, then leave it out just on the bench to rise. You can leave it overnight, but, so usually I would let this rise overnight, like do it at, before we go to bed and then wake up in the morning, but it's about like six o'clock, so it's a bit earlier than normal, but at least four hours, I think, is what it needs to rise. So I can come back later after dinner, late tonight, or get up in the morning and do it, it'll still be fine. So just cover it and then just sit it out on the bench. Just like that. Hey bud, what are you working on? Got some new textures? No. Got some no. artwork? Do you want to show us? Jack's no. been doing some like cutting out, writing stories, no. cutting out stuff, and you got your recipe book to no. write some recipes. No, I don't. Yeah. So what's on here? Stories, is it? About the footy? No. Yeah. yeah. Your teams. What else have you got? 
Got some photos. The heart of yeah. Um, a couple Got of some them. photos from Kmart to stick in your book. Show yeah. us your photos. Oh, that's us when we went to Melbourne the other week, Melbourne, isn't it? Who else have you got? Baba. There's yeah, Baba. Baba. What's that one? Oh, that was at the trampoline place. Can I have a look? Uh, I'm Abu. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. That was at Bounce. That's so right. cute. We'll yeah. have to go there again. Again, yeah. Yeah? That was fun, wasn't it? I didn't even get to go uh, last I, time. Yeah. Can I come next time? Yeah. I didn't even get to go. You went with okay. Mum and Camilla while well, I was at yeah. at a work event. So I'll have to come next time. Okay, man, yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Can I go on the trampolines? Yeah. Do you think? Or am yeah. I too old? Yeah. No. No, I'm not too old. Too old. No. You are. You are. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. She said I won't be back in a while. Don't wait. Already packed her bags, called the cab, made space. And she said I won't answer if you call me when you're lonely. I guess I let her go. Never mind, it's too late. But I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week, and this just can't be how it's supposed to end up. It's not enough. Just getting dressed. I've just curled my hair, um, done my makeup, and I've just brushed it out. It looks so much better with the haircut. Like, I just feel like a new cut. It just, just made me feel so much better. It just feels a bit healthier. Anyway, just quickly getting ready. Um, I've just got a little bit of admin and stuff to do this morning. And I've actually got quite a busy day of filming um, a few jobs, uh, which I've tried to, like, pop them all on today so that I can, like, get in the filming zone rather than um sometimes I feel like you're trying to do a million things all at once and for my anxiety this week I needed just to have a plan so I knew what I was doing each day so I've just popped on all uh jeans and the blazer are old Zara but I have to say I've worn them so many times every time I wear this blazer and these jeans I get so many questions but they're from like four years ago probably but that just goes to show like if you buy good stuff that you really like, fits your wardrobe, and it's like capsule pieces that you can wear over and over, you get so much wear out of. This is the new tank from yesterday, the Vicka Mords one from Style Runner. Love it. I feel like this is going to be a real like popular piece in my wardrobe for this um, spring summer. Like it's really good quality too. I've got this one from um, Cotton On, which I've shared. This is it in the black. I've got it in the white too. Also really love these from Cotton On if you're after just like good basics, but I do have to say this is totally worth it for the price. Like the quality is worth it for the price. Really, really nice. Anyway, I'll wear that so much. Just going to pop on um, shoes, but when I'm just working from home, I feel like I end up just wearing slippers, but I'm popping on some shoes and I've just got to quickly go out, come back, do some emails and stuff like that. Um, put some of this on. It's my favorite. For just like, oh, just perfect for like a spring day. This is Peony and Blush Wade from Jo Malone. I really want to add to my Jo Malone collection. I feel like they're so beautiful and I feel like they're different to other scents to uh, other fragrances too. The scent actually really lasts on my skin. Like I feel like it's really subtle but really nice. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just speaking over on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me over there on Instagram, I'll pop it up here. But... I was just saying about how this week I've been really struggling like with just haven't just been feeling myself been anxious all over the shop really struggling quite a bit if I'm honest but I do have to say getting dressed put, putting on a nice outfit doing your hair and makeup even if it's just like something quick and easy I've gone a little bit more makeup today because I'm filming and I'm working but I'm just working from home I still like to put a nice outfit on um, but yeah I was just explaining how fashion and putting together putting yourself together it just really makes such a difference like I already feel so positive today feeling a bit better I just feel like it really makes a difference so if you're like me like 
yeah, if you're struggling, maybe just try and like put a bit more effort into yourself, put something nice on, just kind of like romanticize the day and it just like day by day helps a little bit. doesn't solve all your problems, but it definitely makes you feel better. So anyway, feeling better today and yeah, need to get stuck into work. I've got heaps on. So it's a few hours later and I'm just, I've been doing like editing and admin. I'm just about to start filming another job. So I thought I would kind of show you a little bit more of behind the scenes. So I'm about to shoot a little campaign for Jergens. If you haven't heard of them, you probably have. They've been around for years. I used to use this so much back in the day, like throughout um, high school and stuff like that. So good. It's a really nice daily moisturizer with a bit of it, like a tan. So it's like a gradual tanner. Really, really nice. And it actually smells really nice too. But this one, Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer. I'm using the shade Medium Dark. I feel like in this um, like spring summer, you can afford to go a little bit darker. So that's who I'm working with today. Absolutely love them so much. So I thought I would share a little bit behind the scenes. I've got to create a reel. I really want to do like a nice aesthetic. So I thought I would do it in the bedroom today. A bit more of like a natural nice scene. So I've got my phone on the tripod and I've got like a, a ring light just there. So I film most of my content just on my iPhone apart from vlogs i film like on a camera i just feel like i go back and forth whether to invest in like something different for reels but i'm still trying to work out what i want to do but i feel like most of the time i enjoy watching iphone content i feel like it's a bit more real and relatable natural so anyway i'm gonna jump on uh continue on and start filming this and i just thought i would show you a little bit behind the scenes i won't be back in a while don't Already packed her bags, called the cab, made space And she said I won't answer if you call me when you're lonely I guess I'll let her go So I've just filmed a few clips and I'm just quickly going to edit them together Just to see kind of what I'm missing, what else I need to film um, Before I pop it onto the computer to do the final edit So for editing, I use a few different apps But usually I just use Splice, which is an app um, and Vixer, which has fonts, but I'm not going to use some fonts just yet on this one. So I'm just going to use Splice. Then usually I just pop it onto the computer and use iMovie to do the final edit. Um, but I'm just going to firstly see what else I need to film. Also, I just thought I would add, usually when I'm working with, um, a campaign like this, I will have discussed it. So my manager will come to me and we discuss it with the brand. Once we've gotten to this point of me filming, there's a brief that we've got um, kind of gone back and forth on. So I've got a brief that works for both of us, um, kind of with messaging of what they're wanting to get about either the product, it's a new product launch or a campaign that they're running. And then, um, sorry, it's really, you're really far away. I'll move it a bit closer. So yeah, we work with a brief, then um, also deliverables, which is which just means what I've actually got to film. So for this one, it's a reel and some stories, um, stuff like that. And they'll include anything that they want me to include. But I always make sure that it's really authentic to my audience and my content as well. So I'll go back and forth if there's something that I think that's not really authentic to me or I prefer it to film it this way so that it's, um, you know, matches in with my other content. Or sometimes I say my audience, I think, would prefer to watch this type of content. So we do go back and forth on those types of things. Um, and I always just try to make sure that it's products that I genuinely like. I feel like it's products that you guys are interested in. At the end of the day, like my job is to try and share what I enjoy or things that I think you will enjoy as well. Um, yeah, so I feel like once we've gone back and forth quite a bit, there's a lot of this industry that people don't really realize goes on behind the scenes. So we've, it's taken a lot to get to the point of filming the actual content. So now I'm doing the actual fun part, the creating and the editing, which is also my favorite part. Okay, so that bit's done. I'm out of my robe, changed again. So now just airdropped all of the content to my laptop. It's just still uploading. Um, I've done a quick edit on here. Gonna go onto the computer, make changes, and then I send it all off. And then we wait for approval from the brand. Usually they'll approve it. And then we have like a, um, a set posting date or a set time frame when we have to post the content. Yeah, and then usually we will share the insights um, with the brand afterwards. And that helps sort of to, yeah, maintain, form a relationship. And um, yeah, 
hopefully ongoing work in the future but I just thought I would share a little behind the scenes of how the campaign works from like start to end I know I really only shared the filming part but just explaining like the behind the scenes so just so that you guys know like I really appreciate every single like comment view if you view my reels or you click on my YouTube videos like anything like that I really really appreciate it um, I love sharing content with you guys and sharing what I get up to so um, I do I really really appreciate all of your support um, I'm gonna wait for this to um, upload send it off and then I'm gonna go and have some lunch I'm feeling some fresh bread Vegemite <laughs> very boring but also very Australian of me um, don't like butter so just plain Vegemite for me and I might also make a smoothie I feel it's such a nice day outside. We're going to a friend's house tonight for a barbecue, so that'll be so fun. So I know I'm gonna have like heaps of yummy food tonight. So I'm thinking just like a smoothie and some like bread with Vegemite for lunch. So there we go. I've got, it tastes so good. I've got plain Vegemite, <laughs> no butter. And I'm just gonna sit here and do some emails. And I thought I'll probably just end the vlog here because it's already long enough, two days worth. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. I really, really appreciate everyone's like messages, comments, suggestions, everything like that. So don't forget to subscribe as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up as well. It all helps and it's all very supportive. So thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one.